This video is on section 4.5, concentrations of solution. The concentration of a solution is just a measure of how much solute you have in a given amount of solution. In chemistry, the most common way to express concentration of a solution is with molarity. Molarity, which is abbreviated with a capital M, is calculated by taking the amount of solute in moles and dividing it by the volume of the entire solution in liters. So it's a pretty simple calculation. Um, here's one example. What is the molarity of a solution that is made uh, from 0.15 moles of NaOH in 250 milliliter volume? To calculate this molarity, all that we have to do is plug the moles and the volume into the molarity equation. So here we have 0.15 moles of our solute, NaOH, in 0.250 liters of solution. Remember, we have to express our volume in liters. In this problem, our volume is given to us in milliliters. Do the math, it's 0 0.60 molar NaOH. That big M is pronounced molar. These problems are going to be a little bit trickier if the amount of solute is given to us in grams instead of moles because we have that extra added step of converting the amount of solute into moles. So for this problem where we are told the amount of solute is 0.725 grams, our first job is to figure out how many moles that is, um, dividing by the molecular weight of NaOH. Once we know how many moles we have, the problem is easy again, and we can just plug that in. Moles of solute, which we just calculated, 0 0.0181, divided by the volume of solution. This time it's given to us in liters, so it's in the right unit. We can plug it right in, and we get 0 0.0110 molar NaOH. Another thing that we need to be able to do as chemists is figure out what the concentration of a solution is after it's been diluted. We do quite a bit of dilution. Um, so the equation that we use to calculate molarity after dilution is M1V1 equals M2V2. M represents molarity, V represents volume in any unit that you want. Could be liters, could be milliliters. The ones represent the molarity and volume of the initial solution before you've diluted it, and the twos represent the solution after you have diluted it. So this is also a pretty simple equation to use. Here's one example. We have a solution that is 250 milliliters of 0 0.0181 molar, and we're gonna dilute it to a new volume of 1.5. We want to know what its molarity would be after the dilution. So the 0.25, or excuse me, 250 milliliters is our V1, initial volume, 0 0.0181, is our M1, initial molarity. 1.5 liters is our V2, the volume after dilution. And M2 is what we're trying to solve for. The only thing that's kind of tricky about this problem is that our volume units are different. And so we need to either express both of them in liters or both of them in milliliters. Our choice, doesn't matter which one, but they do have to be the same unit. So here's the dilution equation. We've plugged in our initial molarity and our initial volume. I've chose to express it in liters. M2 is what we're solving for. V1, our, our final volume, 1.5 liters. We just need to rearrange this equation to isolate M2 and then solve for M2. And that's it. Here is one more example. Uh, if we have 18 molar H2SO4, how much, what volume, do we need to prepare a liter of 0.5 molar H2SO4? So this is our initial molarity. This is our final volume, V2. This is our final molarity, M2. And we're trying to solve for M, uh, excuse me, V1 in this problem. Again, M1, V1 equals M2, V2. Our initial molarity, our uh, initial volume is our unknown. Our final molarity, our final volume, rearrange and solve for V1, tells us that we need 0 0.03 liters to make one molar, or excuse me, one liter of a 0.5 molar solution.